we are back session two. Oh my gosh I just have to say that I love your hearts I love all that you guys are doing it's been so fun getting to know you getting to know the purpose the calling that God has for your life you guys are doing amazing things and it is such a blessing and an honor to have you here hey Christy um, so we are back for day two. So again, we're here for the next couple days. Erlene, hi Kat, hi Tiana, hi Carmen. Good evening. Um, we, oh, Wendy, Sandy, gosh, you guys are amazing. Yes, please put live if you're here, interact. This is amazing to see you to feel the energy to see what god is doing in your life and i just want to keep encouraging you you're doing amazing things so want to first congratulate mary glass she was the winner of our self-care spa kit for day one so there's prizes every single day keep going keep commenting and do the homework because this is not just like fluff this is actually going to be moving you forward. So super excited to be connecting with you and just want to keep encouraging you. Jamie, oh, you guys, Jen. Hi, Kathleen. Love it. Heather, man, this is awesome. I love you guys. Okay, so we are talking about niche today. This, there are... What I usually teach my clients is there are three phases of niche and we are going to be diving into the first phase today. So what I would love for you to do if you know you already feel like you have got your calling, like God has led you so directly to exactly who you are called to serve, awesome. Just be here, be going through a super fun visualization where you're going to be seeing and hearing directly from God as to who you are called to serve. And this is so beautiful. I love doing this one on one with my clients. It usually makes them cry. I usually cry like it's just a beautiful thing. But if you are not so sure, this is especially important for you. But I first want to go through what is a niche. So these are, if you can think of like a Venn diagram, it's the people you serve. It's the situationally specific problem that you help them solve. And this needs to be a painful problem that they are going to pay for. Not just like, yes, that would be kind of nice, but it's like, this is something that I need help with. I'm realizing I cannot do it on my own and I need some guidance here. The third part is your special branded signature system. So in the middle of that Venn diagram is your niche. This is specifically who God has called you to be, to serve your purpose, plan, and mission. And it is just a culmination of probably all your life experiences, really painful things that you have been through where you're like, yes, oh my goodness, I went through that and I don't want another person to have to deal with the pain that I did. You know, I've learned through so, so much through this process and I feel called to help you. So usually they are just a couple steps behind you. This was something that held me back even for a little while when I was doing money coaching because I was like, who am I to do this? And if you have ever thought that, just write that in the comments, who am I to do this? But all you need to be is a couple steps ahead of that person. Because if you think about it, if you are climbing Mount Everest and you have someone like way up there at the top and they're like, hey, yep, just take that one step there and then another one right there. Like you can't relate that you just feel too far apart. Yet if you have someone just a couple steps ahead of you being like, okay, do you see where I just stepped? Step in that same footprint. You do not need to have arrived. You do not need to be a millionaire. You do not need to 
be perfect. You just need to be a couple steps ahead of who you are called to help. So hopefully that just gives you a little bit of confidence to know that it's okay. You don't have to have arrived. Usually we teach what we most need to learn, right? So talking about niche. Some fears I want to address. This often comes up when I hear about choosing a niche. And I'm just wondering if you've ever thought of these. If these resonate, go ahead, put them in the comments. Okay, number one, I don't wanna leave anyone behind. I may lose business or opportunities if I get too narrowed down. Or what do I do with the clients that I already have? And lastly is everyone can use what I have to offer. And yes, that might be true, but if you are speaking to everyone, you are speaking to no one. So I just wanna share some thoughts about niching down because this really sets you apart as the expert in your field. And I don't want you to confuse your business with your ministry or nonprofit because marketing to everyone is like marketing to no one. The opportunities that you are going to gain by having a clear, lucrative niche will astound you. And as you make more money, you have the means to help the people and the causes that God has called you to. So when you go deep into your niche, you open up a world of possibility that is creative, exciting, full of opportunities. And one of my mentors says that niche down so far that you are the only one that can fit in there because when you come across that person or your clients who are praying for you right now, they're like, yes, I didn't even know there was someone like this. She knows me, she knows my heart. She has exactly what I need to offer. So you are not going to feel that you're leaving anyone behind or missing opportunities because you're going to be busy helping people grow their businesses. And what, what is being clear on your niche so that you can take care of them even better? Because then you're not a specialist. You are able to hone in on their problems so well that you know them inside and out. You don't have to know every single thing that they deal with from A to Z. You're like, this is my specialty. I know this inside and out, and this is exactly how I can help people, how I solve their problems. And you can be that specialist and not a generalist. Let me just explain this a little bit further. So like when I was diagnosed with cancer, do you think that I wanted to go just to the general surgeon that you know did everything from like gallbladders to appendixes to broken bones not at all i was so scared i wanted someone who i knew could take care of me i wanted a surgeon that specialized in taking out tumors specifically thyroid tumors and this person gave me so much confidence because this was all he did day in and day out. He knew my fears. He knew how to talk to me. He even knew the things that I didn't know how to ask, you know, how big my scar was going to be, how I can prepare for this, what I need to do ahead of time and then to best, you know, heal afterwards. So I really want to encourage you if you are niched, is there one step? Further that you could go so that when people see you they're like that's my person and that's what we want right okay so I am super excited to be able to bring you this beautiful visualization um, this you are going to be hearing and seeing directly from God I just I love visualizations as you know from the prayers yesterday I just when we can go inward, when we can hear from him instead of, you know, tuning out the world and being like, okay, well, this is what I think they need, you know, no. I mean, that's okay. Market research is a huge thing of what I teach. But gosh, you guys, hearing from the Lord, 
like that can change everything for an instance. And I have seen that even in just this one day and I'm super excited for you about what is resonating from those prayers. So we are going to be doing this visualization. We will be hearing another love letter from God and then we will be saying our prayer back. And I just invite you to take this time to get into a quiet space. Um, if you have your workbook, take notes or just know that your subconscious is going to remember it. Ask the Holy Spirit, like, help me hold on to everything you are showing me and teaching me here. And just take this time to be with God. Okay, so let's just take a deep breath. Lord, we invite you. We are expectant of hearing from you. We want to know your plans and your purpose for us. So just show us so clearly in this visualization what you want for us to hear and see. Okay, so you are going to be surprised and delighted at how easily you remember this information, even when it's complete. So just trust the process and that you're going to remember everything you need to know. So allow yourself to imagine walking into a lovely courtyard setting and you notice that it's set up as if to receive someone very important. And as you walk closer, you see in front of you a whole line of people with happy, welcoming smiles on their faces. As you move closer, you notice these people are your clients. They're people who you've worked with in the past and even people who you have yet to work with. And they are all lined up as if in a receiving line and you realize that the person they are so happily waiting for is you. And as you walk towards them to connect or reconnect with them, the first person in line gives you the biggest warm welcome with a hug of gratitude saying, thank you so much. You move on to the next person who is so happy to thank you that you even blush a little bit, even as you feel overjoyed at seeing how well they are now doing. As you move down the line to the next person, you're once again greeted with a thank you. And then you pause. They look you in the eye and they remind you, before I met you, I was really stuck or I was struggling with. And then you hear them describe what that situation was that was so difficult for them that they just knew they had to do something about it. And the emotion they feel as they tell you about their past struggle is so clear to you. It all comes back to you as they paint such a vivid picture of what their challenge was. And they even share details with you that you hadn't known before. And the two of you take a moment to celebrate how much different their life or their business is now. The change is so dramatic and inspired they just gush. Oh my gosh, the biggest change in my life has been and then you hear them tell you with so much excitement and gratitude exactly what's different for them right now because of your work together. And you just thank them in return for sharing so much with you. And then you move on to the next person in line who like all the others are so ecstatic to see you. And they too begin to tell you how different their life or their business is now. You hear their voice say to you, before I was struggling with, and then they describe what their situation was, what was so difficult for them that they just knew they had to do something about it. And it's clear they want to tell you more, and so they do. They start to get really specific with you and tell you the details of how different their day-to-day -day life is now that they've worked with you. You're watching their happy faces as they share with you how their life, their work, their calling, their business are so different now. And even how their home life and relationships with others have changed. And most importantly, how they feel now compared to before they started working with you. The emotion they feel as they describe how different their day-to-day -day life is is so clearly stamped on their face and you are feeling amazed 
because even though you know you are good at what you do and that you love what you do, that you are walking in God's calling and purpose for you, you really had no idea how utterly impactful your work has been for these people. And you realize this couldn't be true for just this one person. And you realize that every single person who can't wait to talk with you must have had results just like these. And so you continue to move through the line and you're hearing more and more about the results that your amazing and satisfied clients are so happy to have received from working with you. And as you get to the end of the line, you find yourself turning around, looking back and taking a moment to notice all of these beautiful people. You notice what is so similar about them that you can clearly see they are your community. In fact, you notice details about them that you'd never noticed before. And so from where you are now, you realize that there is something you are so passionate about that is something you are a stand for that God put in you. In fact, this is often something that you may have struggled with in the past, overcome, and now want to be sure that no one else has to struggle with like you did. And so as you look back at all these happy, satisfied people that you've helped, what is it that you realize you are an expert at or in? As you look back at the rows of happy, appreciative faces and you think back to where you started, what decision did you have to make? What permission did you give yourself? Did you have to say, okay, Lord, I don't know how this is going to happen, but I say yes. Whatever it is, show me. I promise to be obedient because of what you have given me in my life. And is there anything that you need to let go of? Is there fear, worry, doubt, knowing that those are not from the Lord? That is the enemy trying to stop you from fulfilling your destiny. And especially when it brings glory to God, just know that any of those feelings are not from God. So your subconscious mind can easily remember all the information, the awareness and the learning that you've had and can easily make this available to you anytime you want. So just take one last deep breath. Take a look at these beautiful faces all lined up. Every woman, man, child, homeless person that you have been called to help and just let it sink into your heart. Is there anything, any last words that they want to tell you before we move on? Okay, so just now allow your eyes to gently open as you return refreshed and feeling complete. Okay, so take some deep breaths. We're going to write this down. So this is anchored into your heart. We need to be focused on those that we are called to serve so we can get out of our own way and step into the calling that God has for us. So let's write this down. Okay, number one, if you have it in your workbook, go ahead. The questions are here, but just we're going to be going through this one at a time. Using all that you remember seeing, feeling, sensing, and hearing during the guided visualization, who were the people that you were so excited to see you and that thanked you so profusely for helping them? So write it in the comments, write it in your workbook, one or the other, perfectly fine, just put it somewhere, okay? You can always come back to the comments, but I would love to be able to also pray. If you put it in there, I will be praying for you. Be praying for these people that you are called to help. Okay, number one, who were the people who were so excited to see you and thanked you so profusely for helping them?
Now you can always come back to this if I am going too fast. Pause it, listen to it over and over, um, but I'm going to keep moving on for now. So what did these happy, appreciative people thank you for from the bottom of their hearts? Number three, were they men or women? What age range were they? And what was so similar about them that you could clearly see that they were a community? Looking at your comments, guys, this is so good. Okay, number four, what did they tell you that they had been struggling with or were stuck on before they worked with you? Cassandra, yeah, the workbook is in the files and I can tag you in that as well. Number five, what was the emotion that they seemed to be filled with during their struggle or stuckness? Number six, when they looked you in the eyes, what did they tell you was the biggest change for them in their life and business, all thanks to you and your amazing gifts? Number seven, what were the details they shared with you about how different their day-to-day -day life or business is now that they've experienced the magic of working with you? Stevie says they were joyful and had laughter. Yes, beautiful. Latoya said they felt frustrated, defeated, disappoint disappointed. And the biggest change was that they actually did it and now love their business. Yes. What an amazing feeling for you to help them with, right? Okay, number eight. What did they tell you are the results they are so happy to have now since they worked with you? You guys are doing amazing. Number nine, what were the emotions they're now feeling so deeply as they thanked you for their results? These anchor them into your heart. This is what is going to help us from staying stuck, from playing small, from feeding into the fears the enemy is trying to get us to hold back from our calling with. So what are the emotions that your people are feeling as they thanked you for their results. Number 10, what is the one thing you now know that you are a passionate stand for no matter what? And this is often something that you may have struggled with yourself in the past, overcome, and you now want to be sure that no one else has to struggle with like you did. What are you a passionate stand for? This is a really powerful one. Okay, you guys are doing awesome. Just a couple more. And as you look back at all those happy, satisfied people that you've helped, what is it that you realize you are an expert at or in? Again, these answers, you know, if you're having to think too much about them, just let it come to you. If it's a struggle, ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, speak to me. He will listen. 
And usually the answer that comes to you immediately, like within the first three seconds is usually right. So don't be overthinking these. What are you an expert at or in? Okay, and as you look back at these rows and rows of happy, appreciative faces and you think back to where you started, what decision did you have to make? Was there anything that you had to tell yourself? Were you just like, yep, I'm doing this? What decision did you have to make? Two more, what permission did you give yourself? I love these comments, you guys are doing amazing. And 14, the last question, what did you let go of? And just visualize that, like take it out of your heart, whether it's fear, whether it's unbelief, whether it's unworthiness, who am I, any of that stuff, like just, (laughs) I, I do this a lot where I'm like actually physically feel like I'm taking something out of my heart, out of my head, placing it at God's feet. You guys can do this. You are called to do this. Okay, so hopefully this brought you a little bit of clarity. I would love to know overall, did you learn anything new about who you are called to serve, about the gifts, the passions, the expertise that you have? Put it in the comments. I want, again, we are gonna get so anchored in the truth. We need to be writing this down. We need to be putting this everywhere. And so put it out there. All right, so we're going to be doing our love letter from God and a prayer. And again, so many of you guys um, really enjoyed that yesterday. I just wanted to show you, this is the book, Provision by Sean Bowles. Everyone who joins my mastermind will be getting one of these. Um, But I will also be writing up again these love letters and the prayer for today. So... Close your eyes and just sink into these words. You know, if you can imagine just crawling up in God's lap and this is what he wants for you. So dear daughter, as your provider, I created you with this huge space within you. I fill it with my spirit over and over and you will be a well of provision. Everything you need to fulfill your destiny is provided for. Fall in love with those that you are called to and you will manifest finances and glory that the world isn't worthy of. I want you to see yourself holding the keys to my kingdom. I want you to feel as though the most important, wealthy person who has the biggest platform of your generation just put these keys in your hand and they are real keys to real resources. I am calling you to see through my eyes of love to see what doors your life will unlock. Your life is a key to so many coming into the kingdom. Even if you are thriving in your destiny, there is more. I don't just want to add to you, I want to multiply you. If you have faith for something, I want you to spend time with me and let me expand your faith even more. I will do beyond what you can hope for or dream of, but I want to do it through my intentional partnership. I want to show you to partner step by step with me. I don't want to just bring revelation so you will do something for me. I want you to know me so intimately so we can do it together. I want to bring so much unity to you and the people that I am calling you to love. That you will feel like you aren't running on batteries but you are plugged into an unlimited power source. I want to give you the resource of a full life. It was always my desire. Some good Christian people will think you are exaggerating my passion for you 
or that you are delusional in your faith, but I will use your radical faith to make history. I want to give you the role of provider for others. Just as Jehovah Jireh is one of my names, one of the ways to access me, I want to make you a resource center for those around you. You will help many people become my vision on earth. Don't look to others as if you needed a provider. I have made you a benefactor of my provision. Don't be a victim of lack as I will give you strategy for all that I have for you. When I created you, I created a perfect plan of provision. Just like when you had your children and began savings account for school, stocked up on groceries, planned trips and vacations, classes and skills training, I prepared everything you would need to walk in the fullness of my son, Jesus. Access my plan. Know me as your full provider. Ask, seek, and knock, and I will give you everything you ask for in light of my precious son. Okay, and here is our prayer back to God. And just be in agreement with me on this. God, help us to see you through your eyes, the ones that we are called to love. Give us a vision of our family, the people group that we are most called to, the city, geography, country, industry, and ministry that you have prepared for us. Show us the ones that you love and let me fall in love with them. I will lean into your heart as a provider and become a conduit of this provision for them. Thank you for all those who have already gone before me in this destiny and help me to build on their legacy and inherit from what they have already harvested. Thank you that there have already been 2000 years of Christianity and that one generation is going to inherit in areas that have been prayed for over all those years. Help me to inherit from those prayers and take your gospel of love further throughout my life. Pour out the provision of legacy on my life. I cry out like Elijah, give me a double portion, God, so that I can do more than I had ever hoped or imagined. Help me to be focused on your dreams and not mine. God, I know that my destiny is full of provision. Help me to not be afraid or doubtful. Heal any unbelief in me so that I can access the riches of your glory and being transformation to this world. When I feel limited to my Rolodex and what my skills and talents and gifts can produce, help me to lean into you and allow your strength to cover my weakness. Help me to not focus on myself but to focus on you and your glorious nature within me. Give me faith to do all you have created me to. Jesus, I receive the provision that you restored to me at the cross and resurrection. I don't want even one drop of your blood to be wasted, but I want to live in the fullness of what you intended before you even created me. I align my faith with your promise for every provision for my life and my destiny in you. Amen. Okay. <sighs> Thank you guys for being here. Again, it is such a blessing to connect with you, to hear your passion, your heart. This community is so very special. I love the support, the encouragement, the help that you are giving to each other. And I'm so blessed to be a part of it. So for your homework today, I want to hear who, actually, let's just do, what are your biggest takeaways? Is it who you are called to? Did you learn something new through that visualization? And then what really stood out to you in God's letter, love letter today, as well as our prayer back to him? So any questions, please reach out to me. I have loved connecting individually with each of you. Do not be afraid. Um, if you have questions or just unsure about anything, I am here for you. That is what this is about. So, all right. 
do the homework, get into the word, and I will be again printing out this prayer. Say it out loud every single day. These are so incredibly powerful until it's like in your heart and you are feeling it with every fiber of your being. And just, if you're not, just say a prayer. Lord, help me believe your truth. I want to walk in what you have for me. Show me the way. Okay, love you guys. Thank you for being here and we'll see you again tomorrow at 1230 Central. All right, bye for now.